Hi, it's Joey. Today, if you're watching The Young Royals, season one, episode five. Thank you so much, Tim, for sponsoring this show. I am stressed about what August is going to do with that video. I am stressed for these kids, but I'm also very excited. So let's go. They deserve to have this just be a lovely moment, or series of moments, you know, multiple days. Just a time for them to figure out who they are and who they mean to each other, what they mean to each other, even. With not the rest of the world having a fucking say in it. Who would have? <laughs> Especially after a night drinking. They deserve to just be kids. I want to fight for this. And they're playing a risky game when they shouldn't have to be. They deserve to be as happy as they want. Yes, you're a piece of shit with child pornography on your phone. Make you feel good? You should be happy he's happy, you piece of shit. I don't trust this man, as far as I can throw him. Boy. Does he want him to tell him? Why would he? Mm -mm. He did a little bit. Mm -hmm. At least I hope she'll be able to help him through what is inevitably coming. Leave him alone. I don't trust August with anything. Mm -hmm. You don't have to see him if you don't want to. Not right now, at least. No. Thank you for being a good friend to her. Stay that way. I hope this, I mean, I, I like Felice, so I'm like giving her the benefit of the doubt that she's being genuine. That was very open, my loves. <laughs> Just they deserve the world. I'm freaking stressed. Yeah, you haven't told her about that, have you? Or does she even know? Oh, don't like him, sweetheart. He is weird in using you. Sort of, I mean, it's lovely that they're including her. And they are being good friends to her. It's just hard when sort of seeing a world that's so different from the one she lives in. She wants to be like them, and of course she does, it's human. <laughs> You're like, hi mom, uh, my boyfriend or my friend and his bodyguard is coming for dinner. These kids deserve these normal, as normal as they can be in the circumstances, days and nights. They're just being kids and I like to see it. Det är lite svårt att se mm. vem som är vem, liksom. Tredje heter... Um... The video wouldn't exist if something wasn't going to happen with it. Mm. This episode, on this show in general, it's just me saying, that's just so sweet. They deserve everything and then being stressed. They know it's hanging over our heads. They don't know it's hanging over their heads. It shouldn't be. Yeah. Jag sätter på det här. He told his mom he was playing. <laughs> These little idiots. <laughs> Your boyfriend kissed me. Yes. August. August is what's off. Okay, she's told her. Good. They're good friends. Fucking douchebag. God. God. Oh god, don't make him upset though because he has a very dangerous video that could ruin her brother's life. You're a fuck boy. Fuck off. 
fuck. You are a fuck. Yes, you're a fuck boy. Fuck off. I don't like this. This man is unstable. This little boy is unstable. Don't be distracted. School is important. Utan lösning så utan slutar bli religiösen. Yes, obviously. Om inte någon av oss. Okej. Vi måste skydda kungahuset nu. To protect all of you. You do need to help him though, because he was just helping you guys. Fuck off. Fuck. Does not make even the slightest bit of sense, you piece of shit. Fuck you, August. Fuck you. I hope you lose your estate and all your money yeah. and end up on the streets. Except I don't because no one should. We should live in a civilized world where no one ends up on the streets. You took the drugs. Is he just worried about Simon? I mean, so I know, I get that, like, you know, I wouldn't be very happy if I found out someone I cared about was doing drugs. But also, I feel like you, you literally took the drugs. You're not really doing much better there, sweetheart. Uh -huh. Wilhelm. So what? He is still trying to navigate your life right now. Mm -hmm. This wasn't how I wanted them to have to have this conversation. Mm -hmm. His whole, I mean... Simon can never get into his head, and he's never going to fully be in his head, because these are going to ever live their lives. Wilhelm, his whole life, has been raised, and every, everything you do, but if you stick your tongue out in public, if your shirt's not tucked in, if you do drugs at school, whatever it is, it's going to reflect on your family, and that's more important than you and your well-being, and you're more important than everybody else around you. That is what this kid has been told his entire life, and he's actually fairly decent, given everything. You know, he's pretty wonderful, given all of that. For Simon as well, he's surrounded by all these people at the school who have wealth at their fingertips, you know, whatever they want at their fingertips, and you can see both him and Sarah struggling with it in different ways, in human ways. Um, and I don't think he'll ever understand just the way Wilhelm has been trained to look at the world. It's so very different from an ordinary healthy outlook. But also, you shouldn't even remotely be considering putting it on your boyfriend. You both made mistakes here. I mean, he was grieving. Let's pin it on one of the rich boys. Hopefully the last, or we'll end the monarchy. But also, like, being king nowadays it means nothing. You just stand there. Sell something from your... Working a state. There finns bra kommunala skolor. Vänta lite av oss. I do feel bad for him. It's not a nice period for anybody to be in. He's also, like, still very wealthy and could do something about his situation. And I'm worried he's going to take it out on people that aren't linked. You need to apologise to Simona and you never meant what you said. Boys, children. As if children have to do with everything perfectly. Well, don't say the video he's gonna leak it or sell it to someone. That's my biggest fear with this video, is that he'll either leak it to like just get rid of some weird like power move, but also he could sell that to a media camp like to a media company for a lot of money. I think they it Alexander. We say that I'm not on school age face. No rock your ass up. Do so into the sleep to me. Hur länge till är du medlem då? Mm -hmm. Fuck. Du kan ju inte betala terminsavgiften. Fuck. He is protecting Simon. Det handlar om att du inte vill sälja av Ornes. 
att om du gör det kan du inte vara med i den här klubben. Jesus. Gör... Does it really mean he has to sell his whole estate? You're telling me that there aren't some acres off the estate he couldn't sell, you know, a painting or two? Sve It's protecting someone and you know why. You didn't have to target him in your plan. Fuck. August has lost everything. He is doing something with that video. I am stressed about it. These kids. It's very clear that all of these kids did drugs. It's quite clear that this is the rich boys looking out for themselves and sacrificing one member of the herd. Delete the video, you piece of shit. She has a different body shape to you. Still thin and gorgeous and beautiful. Not that thin is, you know, has to be with gorgeous, but she is still thin. Doesn't fit. She has a different body shape to you. You view her as an extension of yourself. Start viewing her as herself. A lot happier in the long run, I promise you. And they all should have taken the fall, really, but at least he is a rich kid who can immediately be fine. They are kids, they are not handling things very well. And if you're back in his life, the only person he can actually talk to, not just here. Okay, I'm just, I know August is doing something with that fucking video, so I'm just glad they patched things up before and that they have each other. They're just scared kids trying to figure out the world. Jesus Christ. Yep, here we go. It's gonna be hell. You're gonna get through it. I promise you'll make it through this. And if I can destroy August's riches and estate, I will do it myself. Because they just should be able to come out in their own good time. As a couple and individually. Is he just posting it? He's not even trying to get any money for it? Fuck you, petty little bitch. She saw who did it. Oh god. God of God of God. Oh, this special night and then just how soon will a video happen? <laughs> I thought that was what her surprise was. She didn't want to do it, so she gave it to Sarah. Felice is a wonderful friend. He's, she's struggling and she's going through figuring out who she is and how to fit in. Fuck you. Yep. Yeah, he was looking out for you. Yeah, he they could have maybe told him that. But he protected Simon. He used the information. Simon, I need to call his properly by his name. He used the information he had to put August in his place and protect Simon. And then he looked out for him. Piece of shit should lose his estate. Fuck off. You have no right to be here. Go away. Yep, family comes first. You talk a big game. Eric would be ashamed of you. Fuck, you piece of shit. Why would you throw your son in that? Make sure he doesn't want to come and see you. And there's nothing wrong with Simon doing it. I know he was doing it for the drugs and the alcohol. But having a shitty dad is not a straightforward thing. Mm -hmm. Go. Go. Oh. Sorry, my love. Fuck you. Get him out of here right now. We need to talk to him right now. But I also understand that you're spiraling. Oh. Okay.
okay so the beginning of this episode was actually really lovely in the sense that it was just like kids being kids whether it was Wilhelm and someone just being together and being in their like honeymoon phase it feels weird to say about children but you know like they're kind of puppy love they're like beginning of it everything is magical and fresh and you're just so excited to see each other and you feel like you've got this big beautiful secret against the world and everything's wonderful um and then you have the girls with Felice Sarah and I actually don't know the third girl's name um and they were just hanging out and you know I didn't think Felice would ultimately hold the kiss over Sarah for forever I thought she would be quite understanding um because Felice is actually I mean at the beginning of the show I was like all of these rich brats I was like I'm ready for you to be a stereotypical rich brat the only one of them that's a main character that has lived up to that is August and August can fall off a cliff for all I care I mean ideally then she you know hurt his leg and has to go to, I don't really want him to die <laughs> but you know metaphorically fall off a cliff um but I love the way when Sarah said that, Felice wasn't like, and you didn't tell me all this time, you know, because she kind of could have had a right to be. I think maybe if she'd had more feelings for August, she might have been a bit more upset. I think she would have come through it because it didn't it didn't mean anything beyond just being a kiss. And maybe Sarah kind of had never thought, like, I guess never, the first time anyone ever shows you a bit of attention, it must be nice. I've literally never experienced it myself, TMI. Um, but I love the way that Felice was immediately like, oh, that bastard, like, you're fine, he's a dick. Um, because also understanding that it's a hard thing to say to someone, like, your, boy your boyfriend kissed me, it is a weird thing to say to someone, but I love that they just immediately stood together, that she'd already realised something was off with August, because August is just off, like, that is what is off with him, himself. And again, yeah, he has a sad life, I get that. Probably should have had more therapy, less money, but he has a way out of his financial problems that either, A, asking for help from the rich family, or B, selling something selling your freaking land and not getting who gives a shit no one um and all episode there was just a sense of doom that this entitled little boy who was spiraling had this video that could destroy two lives now i'm using the phrase destroy two lives in a temporary sense i do think they will come through this they will be okay but nobody deserves to have their privacy violated like this whether it is just simply a video of them in bed together or whether it is a video that outs a relationship or outs a sexuality like nobody deserves that let alone children and let alone children in the public eye um right now it will feel pretty dark but i have faith in these characters i have faith in that they will make it through this in some ways down the line it will be like oh isn't it good that we dealt with that sooner but it, it's never going to be good because it should have been up to um wilhelm to can't go at his own pace to come out at his own pace um the actual episode so i love all the fr i love that kind of friendship side of things i loved i uh, just the <laughs> just the bodyguards being like yeah like, you know you know it's not our business <laughs> if he's gay <laughs> i mean i guess they can tell 100 percent, but you know they were kissing i'm sure the bodyguards watched them kiss but you know it's just their job to keep him safe it's not their job to monetize anything else the whole like just they, they were just so cute at the beginning of the episode and the girls were so cute and just everything was lovely and you really saw a way this world could be the show has also done i think a really good job of I like I've said this a thousand times, but of showing what entitled snobs these rich kids are. Like the fact that those kids were like, we could have argued before or against capital punishment. We argued for. Fuck you. No one in your realm would ever like. I mean, no one in your sphere of influence would ever face that. It would just be a poor person. Fuck you. Um. Whether it's that to the kids cheating on the tests, to the rich kids doing drugs, and then trying to come up with, and the only person they can think of to blame is the poor person who was involved, and like. I say poor, I, I don't think Simon's like, you know, <laughs> desperately poor, but comparatively, he's a normal person, amount of money. Um, I just, that whole thing was such a mess. I mean, like, it is shit, it is shit that Alexander took the fall. I don't know if he was one of the ones that came along to the party with them, if he was the boy, he was just the one that opened the window, but he was the one selling the drugs. It is shit that they made him take the fall. They all should have taken responsibility. What would, would the school have covered it up if it involved the prince? Like, how, because obviously... Does the school want to be known as the institution where the prince got kicked out for doing drugs? Or we don't keep our kids safe, even the prince got kicked out, the future king? Or does the, would the school have actually covered it all up to protect him and their own reputation? And there would have just been some internal damage. Who knows? But there were definitely kids acting scared. And while I don't necessarily agree with blaming anybody, blaming the person who had already been caught and who comes from... I mean, the fact that um, Wilhelm said, oh, he'll be at a school in Switzerland soon means that, like, he's rich. Rich kids are fine. Like, yeah, it's going to be... Sh it's, I mean, if it's a first year as well, I feel like he's got, like, a great 
amount of time at this school like he'll be fine he's rich he doesn't even really need the education to be fine and he'll go to another really good school and it'll just be a little blip on his record that his parents will you know give a bit more money to the next school and it will be fine um whereas blaming someone like simon you're doing that because he's not one of you and it, it could destroy his life like potentially for him it would become probably drug dealing charges i don't know how much the school would have wanted to make a big fuss but the reason he's at this school is because it supposedly gives a really good education i personally doubt that um i don't really but i also think like the the anguish of like being around these rich brats is probably not worth it you see both him struggling with, with it both with needing the tutoring that then gives you the extra grades that costs all the extra money to sarah just looking at all the stuff her friends have and being like i'll never have this like i don't have all of this and probably if she'd w brought been told oh we dress up for dinner and she'd brought her nicest dress it wouldn't have been as nice as the dresses they had it would have been lovely i'm sure but you know they were other girls would have been like oh my god that's like from a shop <laughs> um so you do really see the juxtaposition of the two worlds and you do see how these rich brats live in a whole other world and wilhelm is surprisingly switched on for someone who grew up in that environment and perhaps that is the benefit of being the second the you know never the one with the full attention on him so he had a little bit more time to breathe with not with not have initially not having the whole responsibility on him so he could look around at the rest of the world and think oh i'd like that i'd like to be normal um i was still like it when the boys fought but i also understood it and like i kind of said in the middle like i don't think either of them handled the situation well i do also think they have both made mistakes simon made a mistake when he sold alcohol or drugs to the rich brats the rich brats are always going to throw it on you if they get the chance um if it comes down to it and will have made a mistake when he got drunk and high admittedly he is a kid i'm not going to like demonize kids for doing that but it was a mistake um but I also he's grieving his brother right now he's not exactly in his sanest head spaces but I think he probably, probably would have done it with peer pressure anyway because he's feeling the pressure of trying to be a good king now I think as much as I think being king nowadays and queen I don't know how Sweden works but I presume I don't think there's a single like actual monarchy in Europe that does anything functional beyond like state visits and like the parliament comes up with a law and then the, the monarch goes yes was the monarch going to be like N no i don't agree with that what the, there would be like no more monarchy like it is all a joke but within their social circles the rich live in the monarchy has power and weight and we saw wilhelm exercising a good amount of that in this episode when he put august firmly in his place by being like you're not going to be here soon you know my decision does have weight and kind of using that like we're here to protect the crown well i say to do that i am the crown we're doing this it was very telling that wilhelm does showing or telling isn't really the right ways but he has that side of him that can use that kind of social manipulation he can use that kind of i'm rich and powerful and i'm gonna put you in your place <laughs> um which obviously if that became his go-to opera modus, modus operandi i would not like it but he was also protecting simon trying to protect himself and his boyfriend at the same time um and yeah if he just mentioned to august in privately afterwards by the way i've asked people to look into it uh because you know it doesn't look good to the royal family if some tertiary member has to sell their estate because it looks like the monarchy and the royalty are in decline which they should be and they are um of course august was going to do something with that video now did he literally just post it like how sure i suppose if he got paid for it there would be a money trail and if he just posted it anonymously he thinks just someone at the school posted it no one will know who but sarah saw him in the computer on the computer at the same time the video was posted or whatever what an absolute piece of shit i don't care how upset you are you do not post that video you do not post that video if wilhelm is out you do not post that video at all that will temporarily destroy lives and it could destroy lives in the like i have faith that you know this show has two more seasons so it's got to be okay in the long run um but in the real world the pressure of something like that could lead to all sorts of mental health crises it could lead to hate attacks it could lead to just so many things i am so worried for simon going forwards because the press will figure out who he is it's not hard you see him very clearly in the video you see him more clearly than you do wilhelm um the palace what are they gonna do what's the reaction gonna be it better freaking be supportive it better be like we'll destroy whoever leaked this video but we support you um i, I worry i worry a lot 
about what's going to happen next. Um, and it's the season finale, so God knows how what's going to happen. I can't even be glad. Like I want to say, like, oh, there's a part of me that's glad that at least things are out in the open now. But no, these kids should have got to put it out in the open when they were ready. They should have, because they still haven't discussed the reality. I mean, I think this episode they came the closest to discussing the reality of the world they live in, with like their argument about what they were supposed to do and how like everything I do reflect, reflects on a monarchy. What about my family? Like they kind of got the closest to that. But they're kids. They haven't stopped to think about if we are together and we're in a relationship, the world will know and that will change your life. Um, I'm so stressed for that. My favourite moment in this episode, okay, my, my two favourite moments, my three favourite moments in this episode were, um, third place is when Felice and Sarah were like, fuck you, and like, just girl power. My second favourite moment in this episode was Felice giving Sarah the Lucia thing. Um, that was real friend solidarity, like, I don't want this, this would mean the world to her. Why should I have it when I don't even want it? And I only got it because of who I am. I didn't get it out of any skill or earning it. Um, and my favourite moment, as much as it hurt in a lot of ways, was when Wilhelm was like, I don't want to lose you. You're the only person I can talk to here. And he means that in the whole world. I think he could have spoken, he could talk to his brother. His brother was the person he would talk to. Um, and if he hadn't died, maybe he ultimately would have said I, I think i'm gay but then again him being gay wouldn't have been as big of a deal as the spare rather than as the heir and for that moment when all of um simon's walls just crumpled and he was just like i'm here for you and they just held each other that was my favorite moment and i think it's going to hell and i'm very stressed so thank you tim no thank you tim thank you for watching